Okay, so started. I took the computer out of the box. I made sure that I could turn it on. I configured Windows to look the way I like it to look on the screen to hopefully give me the most efficient use out of the screen. I removed the antivirus software that came with the computer. I updated Windows, installed a new browser, updated that browser, updated Java. I then installed an antivirus program, updated that antivirus program. Now I haven't run the antivirus program. I would hope that at this point there's no viruses on this machine. I've only really downloaded oh, a half a dozen, well, 20 things or less. And since the majority of those 17 or more came from Windows, um, I don't think I need to run an antivirus. But the next thing I do want to do is connect this computer to my other computers in the, uh, in the offices here. I've got laptops, I've got cell phones, I've got computers, so um, how I'm going to connect all these for now at least is through this network connection. The RJ45 go into a router or a switch go into a, um, a router. So what I'm going to do is open up my network places so that I can right click on my computer and choose properties. There might be faster ways to get to these places but this is the way I'm most familiar. I'm going to the computer name and I'm going to change the work group. Uh, we do have a name for the work group here and I'll just type that in and click OK and now what this means is it's sort of like secret handshake. Now when my computers are all talking to each other on their router you must restart your computer for these changes to take effect. So now I'm going to just close these windows as the computer restarts. If it's not going to restart on its own, I'll go ahead and initiate that. So when my computer, which it's connected to the RJ45 and to the router and through the modem out to the internet, um, it doesn't need to be connected to the home work group for that. As long as the router allows it to go through, which it does, um, it goes straight out to the internet and minds its own business. But when I want it to be able to pull information from the hard drives on my other computers, then I do want it to be able to shake hands with those computers, identify itself, and have the ability to pull from those other machines. So what I did is I told it that it's in the work group that my other machines are in, and when it turns back on this time, it'll be in that work group, I should be able to go to the network and see my other computers and depending on what folders and files on those other computers are accessible and um, have open permissions to let me pull information from them, I should be able to pull information from those other machines. That's useful not only for personal data but for software that I might have downloaded in the past. It'll save me a lot of time without having to go to the internet and find the software. Since I put everything into a um, an installer folder, I can pull those installers over to this machine. And then it lets me have them on this machine. And I think of it like a first aid kit or a toolbox. I give a portion of my hard drive to hold installers. Even though I might have them already on this machine, if I go somewhere and I can help someone out by giving them a version of the software, or if they can't get connected to the internet for whatever reason, I just find that it's useful to have certain things in that toolbox. So now that the machine is restarted, we'll go down to the start bar. Hmm. It's taking a little time to give me control of that start button. There we go. So start, because I have it all set up to um, open as, as far as Windows, I'm going to be able to navigate into the entire network, into the Windows network. And when it does reach out to the Windows network, it sees my network there. It sees two of my machines that are online and connected to that network. So now I'm going to open up the work group and I see those two machines. I'll jump into this machine and see that I've got this many folders that are available that I can take information from or add information to. If I go to this machine, I see that there's even more. So it's just a matter of jumping into one of these machines. I'll jump back to this one, go to that installers folder, and I see quite a bit of software that over the years I've installed under that compu particular computer. It's things like the printer drivers, um, some video software that I've used, antivirus, basically any program that I might have needed to use more than once, install more than once. 
All right, so I'm going to go ahead now that I've got a fresh machine here. I've got plenty of hard drive space, I'm assuming. I'll open this up and take another graphical look at that hard drive and I see that the blue portion isn't even 25 percent yet so I've got quite a bit of hard drive space left on this one since I plan to keep most of the data on an external hard drive anyway this machine doesn't need to have a lot of hard drive space available for storage so I can use the back button to quickly get me back to that list of um, installer files for example um, I've got Opera, another browser on here. I've got um, QuickTime. So some files, some software that I use quite a bit that's not necessarily on a computer right away. So I'm going to pull some of these folders over. I'm going to pull the whole installer over and leave it on this machine, like I say, in my toolbox. And then I'll install them. And what I'm doing now is I'm laying down some of the files that I use most often right on top of a fresh version of Windows, a clean um, hard drive without a lot of clutter. Um, basically I took a computer that was here, I took some of the top fill down, so I got it to a nice clean level. I'm putting some of the programs on that I'm going to use the most, and that gives me the rest of my hard drive uh, to use as sort of expandable and rewritable data. And ideally the stuff that I'm putting on first isn't going to need to be rewritten very often. Occasionally added to is all when the software gets updated. So hopefully it's been a good primer on what to do with a new machine when you get one, with a, a new computer, and um, hopefully it wasn't too long-winded. Good luck.